Hello, you are welcome. In this video, let us learn how to create the database for the VB.NET project or the C-Shop project. So to start with, uh, we can open the Visual Studio 2019 and create a new project. So it is a new project. Let us click on the new project. If you don't have Visual Studio, first you have to install the Visual Studio 2019. Then you have to start the Visual Studio. So how to start Visual Studio? If you already installed, you will have an icon or have an icon on the desktop. Just click on this, so it will start the Visual Studio. Then you go to create new project. So here you need to select the desktop application. So therefore let's select the desktop. So now I will going to use for the Visual Basic. So you will have many types. So scroll down. So we want a .NET application. So Windows Form application. So this for C Shop. And this for the Visual Basic. Even you can use C Sharp, okay. But if you want to use VB, you can use the VB. Both will almost same, except a small change in the syntax. Uh, but database is concerned in both the project is almost same. Okay. So select this and then next. So here is the question like where you would like to save the project. So browse this. So select the drive where you would like to save the project. So I'm going to save in D drive. Let's have Visual Studio. So VB projects. So I select the folder. Then what is your project name? So the project name is database application. Okay, database application one I can give. So this is a database application. Next, you can choose play solution and the project in the same directory. So this you select this one. So therefore all the files will be there in the same folder. If you uncheck this, then your project file will be outside the project folder. So only that is a difference. So let it be there both in the same folder. Then you create this. A new project will be created inside the VB projects. Fine. So here is the new project. What is called as the desktop application one. And here is the form one. So if you double click on form 1.vb, so it will show the form. So this is an empty form here. So let me change the background color of this form. So it's a back color. So select some color. So okay, let it be blue color. Fine. So now what you want to do is we want to create a one database here. So because for this project, assume you require a database. Let's learn how to create the database. So in order to create a database. So what purpose you want this database? So what is your project is? So that is what important. Okay. So now let's say we want to make the college management. So where a student will join for the course and uh, we can manage their attendance, marks and all these things. In that case, uh, the first table comes is the course table. So therefore the database name is, so we can say create database, database name. So that is college management. So when you have a database name, you don't, you don't, you're not supposed to give the spaces between. So this is a college management data, college management database. Okay, so can give that lengthy, no problem. Next thing is we need to create the table. So for that, it is a create table, and here is the course table, C O R S E table. So what are the columns are required? So any one is a course name. This is a course name. So data type. So let's say work era of five zero. So otherwise course name not take so much of stuff. So let turn is do the job. So next course details. So here you can have varkara 50. We can enter some information about that particular course. So next is the duration. So how many semesters? So duration. So this varkara of. So if you give single digit number, so then you can do the like no, why it will do the job. Okay, so I'll take var care of one only. So therefore, we'll enter the character, so our number, so that will go to the var care one as a text. Okay, I'm taking all these things are text only. So later we'll see that order. We take the different data types. Now our table design is ready. Now how to create this database and the this tables in the SQL Server. So in order to create an SQL Server, you first you have to go to View menu. There you have to go to Server Explorer. Server Explorer. So you possible please write down all these steps then you try it. 
or else it parallelly would like to do it. So watch the video and stop the video and then go to Visual Studio. There you can work and then come back again. So that way also you can do. There are two ways. One is uh, watch the complete video, write down everything and then try or else parallelly you can do it. So you want to do it parallelly, you can pass the video and then go to Visual Studio, do it there and then come back. So therefore you can do step by step. Okay, fine. So now here is a server explorer. I have one database already. I'm going to delete this. So if you delete, permanently not be deleted. Only connections will be deleted. Okay, don't assume old database is deleted. No database is not deleted. So only the connection is deleted. So now here we are in the server explorer. Now you want to create a new database. To create the new database, click on data connections. Right click. Then you have to click add connection. Add connection. So here is a Microsoft SQL Server database file and we have a different uh, types here. So for example, like no access file, ODBC data source, SQL Server and Microsoft SQL Server database file. So the difference between do is here is, is a deployable means you can copy and paste immediately. But when you take a SQL Server, you need to take a backup and then you have to restore. So uh, for initially this will be easier. So therefore we can choose Microsoft SQL Server database file. So it's a file. So you can Along with your project, you can easily copy from one system to other system. Right. So select OK. Now, where you would like to store this database? Where you want to keep this database? So not to keep particularly in the particular location, you have to browse here. So go to browse. You go to database app. So that is what the data the folder which you are using. And in that bin folder, in that debug folder. So if you keep the things over here, then referencing to this particular location will be very easy because when you create a project, when you create a, when you execute the project, exe file will be created in this location. So therefore reference along with the exe file will be very easier. Therefore you have to give the database name here. So now our database name is college management database. So copy this and then I will paste it over there. So then you click open. So open means when it is not there. So it automatically asks, do you want to create? So we can say, yes, we would like to create this database. And click OK. So now it's asking, this doesn't exist. Would you like to create it? Say yes. So now you can see that college database, database is created. Now you expand and if you expand tables, there are no tables here. Now we need to create the table. So now to create the table, right click and then go to new query. That is a SQL query, right? So now we already designed the query over here. So therefore, you can just copy this and then you can paste it here. Then here is the button to execute. Okay, so this is a green button. When you have a query, there is a green button over there. So click this, command successfully completed. So now if you come back to server and if you refresh this, you can see there is a table over there. Our table is created. Fine. So once it's created, you can go back here and you can check there is already table. You want to modify anything, so then you have to go to open table definition. So now you can see you can see all the columns here. Any changes you would like to do now, you want to change the data type. Okay. So you want to make it as a small integer, or you can see that bit is 0 or 1. Integer, integer quite large actually. So okay, we take a small integer. Okay, you can even tiny integer will do the job. So in case of tiny integer, it's at 255, up to 255. So that we can change to tiny integer. So now if you save this, otherwise you have to say update, then it will be, what are the changes is done, it will be saved. If you don't, you don't want to save, just close this. And say don't save, it will not be saved. And if you want to see the data, what data is already there, I mean, now there is no data. Once you enter the data and you want to see the data, you have to say show table data. So when you click show table data, you can able to see the data here. Or you can enter the data here also. Like for example, I want to enter it through the database itself. I can write here BCA. So this is Bachelor of Computer Applications. So duration, it's a six semester. So therefore I can write six here. So here you don't need to save. So when just take the cursor to next line, then data will be automatically saved. And you want to make any changes here. So select this and then delete or you can just type whatever you want. Say 4. Now the 4 is saved. 
again make it 6 6 is saved and if you don't want this record then right click here and then you can say delete so when you say delete the record will be get deleted fine so this is how you can create the database in visual studio so hope you understand the concept so try to create some more databases practice it so create different different uh, databases so is it shown for one table for example you want to make a student table plan it what are the columns are for student table or you want to attendance then you plan it what are the columns are required for the attendance marks fees like that you have to create a multiple tables and you take another project so if you go to our channel that is iblix tutorials okay. so here i take to iblix tutorials so in our channel we have a different uh, project videos so vb.net is concerned we have more than 100 video projects here so just go to videos then scroll down so you can see that a lot of projects are there so then after watching the video so just plan it what are the tables are required what are the database is required at least 5 to 10 database just create and then create all the tables then you understand like how to do all these things so and also you want to learn vb.net so we have a separate videos so apart from this how to create a database so we also have a videos to create mda form child form login form and how to do sql server insert update delete statement so here also some videos are available please watch them also and finally please subscribe to our channel so therefore we can bring you more videos thank you